Hi guys, it's me, Vicki again, me love Bono. I'm getting ready to share the October afternoon holiday style collection kit with um, some additional a la carte purchases and a little bit from the October afternoon farmhouse collection. If you've already seen these uh, being shown, and, and there are a few videos here on YouTube that share the collection, you might want to skip this video. But if you haven't, or you like to see the items shown by all different people, like I do, then stick around. Um, I bought this from, oh, you know, for some reason, I did not catch the train quick enough by the time that I got online after Black Friday and after the release of the Holiday Style Collection, everybody was sold out. Or you could find a, a piece here and a piece there, and I don't really like to do that. I like to get all of the items from one person. So, about seven to ten days ago, guess who had all the items? Mm -hmm. Your scrapbooking supply dot com. Rhonda, who still remains, knock on wood, my favorite online place to shop. Not only did she have all the items, but she also had 10% discount. Now, what is it? I think after $50 with Rhonda, you get free shipping in the States. So, you can't beat that, right? I mean, her prices are good to begin with. So, let me show you the October afternoon holiday style. Oh, the only thing that I picked up uh, that wasn't October afternoon was a couple of the Jelly Bean Soup labels. You know, I'm having a hard time finding these. They're always sold out. But I finally found some. It's a homemade six bean soup. Soup labels. And the My Mind's Eye Loving You labels. And it's the Lost and Found Collection 2. These were like 77 cents. Of course, I had to get the buttons, the holiday style buttons, and they're really cute. Nothing spectacular, but if you look in there, you'll see, you know, this one here has little lines in it. There's some texture to it, and of course, it coordinates with the set. How cute is that? It's the holiday style. Oh, sorry about the, ah, oh, that darn glare. Holiday style rub-ons. Holiday style tin pins. Look at how cute. These are the label stickers that come in the collection. I think that's probably my favorite. Play and make good cheer for Christmas comes but once a year. This is City Sidewalks. And the flip side. 
in the holiday collection, you get two pieces of each paper. This is snow and mistletoe. This is called Oh What Fun. This is one of my favorite papers. And the little polka dots on the flip side. Silver bells. Flip side is silver bells. And this just has a lot of different uh, Christmas holiday words Christmas tree, ornaments, jingle bells, Scrooge, Toyland, Figgy Pudding, Jack Frost. Merry and Bright. This is one of my favorite papers. Look at little Santa falling through the air. I love the blue. Flip side of Merry and Bright. Figgy Pudding. A nice Christmas plaid colors are like a black and a light olive red and cream. The flip side of Merry and Bright. Deck the halls. Lots of ornaments. That turquoise with just a tingle of green in it. Background of blue. Flip side Whoa. Hold on to your seats. Ring-a-ling. You'll be needing to ring-a-ling the doctor if you look at that too long. The flip side is cute. Well, it's actually cute. It's busy, but I like it. And this is the flip side. Santa's list. It says name, good, bad, address. And then a second list. How cute is that? Again, another favorite. This is called Toyland. And look at the, it looks like an old nostalgic newspaper. Look, Easy Bake Oven, Dash Dalton, Cowboy Carbine, Trains. Just anything that you would buy your kids for Christmas is on here. And it looks like an old fashioned ad from Big B's. How cute, right? Here's the ice skates, Santa. I, I, this may be, maybe, it may be my favorite October afternoon collection. I'm thinking, and I know it is my favorite Christmas collection. Okay, Santa Claus Lane. A bunch of cutouts. Wouldn't this look great on some easy-to-make cards? There's the ice skates again. A snowman. A peppermint candy. There's uh, those mittens again. Listen, if you go over to the Cat's Meow 1969. Hi, Cat. Um... She has an Etsy store, and she does felties and all different types of shapes uh, cut out of felt. And she, I bought, uh, one of my purchases was the cutest little mittens on a string, and she will do special orders for you. Now, I got the red and white, which is going to look really cute with this collection, and but, you know, if you wanted green and white, I bet she would do it for you. Anyway, very reasonable prices. But that's what comes to mind when I see mittens now. This is the back. And again, that's Santa Claus Lane. This is 
Holly Jolly. Holly Jolly. This reminds me of one of those multicolored candy canes, which I personally don't like. I I like I like jelly out of a jar, not out of a squeeze thing. It's just not natural. And I like red and white candy canes. Not green and white, not purple and white, not yellow, blue, and green. Red and white candy canes. Figgy. Oh, put your glasses on, Vicky. Feliz Navidad. How beautiful, huh? This is the sticker sheet. This is included in the collection pack. When I buy those collection packs, I'm always so scared that I'm not going to get something or another. Look at the little houses here, Ugh, the shopping stores. Oh, it just takes you back in time. And this is the um, found alpha sheet. This does come included in the collection kit. You almost can't beat buying the collection kits where you get two of every paper and then the sticker sheets. And, and then you can always buy extra papers if you want. And the chipboard and the tin pins and all of that. Anyway, I also picked up, of course, the chip and stick. I want you to be able to see the top. and It's so hard to get it into the screen. When somebody develops a camera, look at this little number. How cute, right? When somebody develops or uh, invents a camera that can get a whole 12 by 12 piece of paper in the viewfinder at once, they're going to be rich people. This was something I didn't see when I first started looking at the collection, but this is also holiday style uh, chip and stick. Guys, while I was shopping at Rhonda's, I also, and, oh, and I got the miscellany kit. You guys have probably seen all this, but it's so cute. I picked up the 8x8 holiday style pad of paper for card making, and I've been working on a card I can't wait to share with you guys, but I'm not finished yet. It's from the Holiday Style, and you'll see what I mean when I show it to you, but I've already busted into that. I went on and picked up the uh, October Afternoon Farmhouse 8x8 paper. Now, I I like the 8x8 pads. 6x6 pads, I will buy them f for cards, but... They're hard to incorporate, at least for me, they're hard to incorporate into a 12 by 12. Although I see a lot of you who do that, I don't know how you do it, but okay. Let me bring it down here. Hold on. I'm loving this. Look at this. Even my grandson, this grabbed his attention when I flipped past it. Um, that's a black polka dot. Or like almost a charcoal. Like a very, very, very dark gray on muted pink background. again. So vintage. Oh, 
look at this. Milk, butter, and cream. And it looks like a little invoice pad. Poultry and eggs. Look at that. Now you could certainly, this looks like white lace just laid over a solid red paper. And I think this would be beautiful for Christmas cards or a Christmas layout. Here we go. Beautiful blue doilies, chairs. I mean, how cute is that going to be? I'm doing a scrapbook album of our homes. We've only had two of them, but I'm just taking real weird pictures of the front door, the living room, the dining room, appliances, because I love to look back at old pictures and look in the background. And I like to see their appliances and their cars and the houses and fashion. I love looking at old pictures, even from 10 to 20 years ago, and looking at the backdrop. So I'm doing an album like that, and I think this paper is going to be perfect for that album. And here's the little neighborhood picture. You wouldn't believe this, but our neighborhood kind of reminds you of this. Um, I I always think of the Hometown Collection by uh, Collage Park or Pink Paisley. I, I, that was kind of a weird collection because it's like both of them, the companies were involved, but the uh, Hometown Collection or Hometown Summer it was. The, that collection reminds me of our neighborhood which is good, mostly, not all the time. But anyway, that's the Farmhouse Collection paper pad, and this is the chip and stick. So cute. This house is what, or the house, this window is what sold me. I got a thing for windows. On scrapbook pages. Look at this one. It looks embroidered home. Isn't that cute? Okay, so that's my haul from yourscrapbooksupply.com. You can find Rhonda on eBay by looking up your scrapbooking supply store. Um, I ordered these items from Rhonda on, darn it, it doesn't say, I don't know exactly what date I ordered this, but once again, I placed my order in the evening between like 6 and 8 p.m. The next morning, I woke up at 8 a.m., now, I didn't wake up at 8 a.m. I'm actually quite the early bird. But I checked my email, and at 8 a.m., Rhonda had an email saying, We've received your order, and it's been shipped with a tracking code and that had already been scanned, and my products were on the way, and within three days, I had my items from Rhonda. I just can't say enough nice things about her store. I'll be loving you, Rhonda. You're the fastest shipper. You're the best store. And I'll be back again. Hey, guys, come back, because would you believe this? I got more items to show you. Mm -hmm. I told you I went a little crazy this year. See you soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you got any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. I'll do whatever I can to answer your question, and if I don't know, we'll find out together. Talk to you in a minute.